Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. With your spirit. Please join me in offering this Mass in thanksgiving that Father Lambert finally got on vacation. I mean, that he safely arrived with Father Baldemar in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. As we give thanks for the many ways that God touches our lives, that God reaches out in providential care feeding us, nourishing us, giving us eternal life. Let us prepare for the next several Sundays when we will hear from the Bread of Life Discourse, John chapter 6, for several Sundays in a row. And the first reading today speaks to us of the first bread from heaven that God provided to sustain his people. As we open our hearts and our minds to God's word, we celebrate St. Lawrence of Rescindi, uh, whose uh, feast as a priest and a doctor of the church we celebrate today, Brindisi, Lawrence of Brindisi. Let us pray. Lord, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You nourish and strengthen us in word and in sacrament. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your name and the salvation of souls bestowed on the priest St. Lawrence of Brindisi, a spirit of counsel and fortitude. Grant, we pray, that in the same spirit we may know what must be done and through his intercession bring it to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The children of Israel set out from Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai. On the 15th day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people will go, are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepared what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, take the whole congregation of the children of Israel, present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. 
In the morning, a dew lay about the camp. And when the dew evaporated, there on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, what is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, this is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The word of the Lord. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels. Food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind in the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven, and he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp, round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower, all who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. What a bunch of complainers. No, not you, the Israelites, whom God had just saved from oppression, from slavery, just brought them through the Red Sea in powerful way, giving them a new birth, a new life. And they think God's going to let them die in the desert? But when we're honest with ourselves, aren't we among those complainers with all that God has done for us personally, collectively, in salvation history, for our ancestors in the faith? 
it's so easy. I'm sure you don't complain as much as I do, but it's so easy to just slip into complaining. There's plenty of serious challenges in the world. And if I were wandering in the desert with no sign of food or water, yeah, I'd probably complain too. But then we need to stop and remember God provides is not just a saying or wishful thinking. God provides is a two-word summary of so much of the Bible. God provides us with the gift of life. He provides us with parents, with friends, with neighbors, a community of faith. God provides our gifts and our talents. Everything we have and everything we are is a gift from God. How can we possibly think that God will abandon us? Yes, we need to show our gratitude and our respect for God. We can't just sit back and say, okay, bring the caviar, Lord. We need to show our indebtedness and gratitude, respect and obedience, a word we don't like today, but we need to hear. In doing this, we open ourselves to trusting more and more in the Lord. If God provides food in the desert to sustain his chosen people, how much more does he long for his son to provide the true food from heaven, his word and the sacrament of his body and blood? The sower sows the seed of God's word in our hearts, and Christ feeds us with the finest wheat, the wheat that has become his very self. As we prepare for a homily series across all of our different homilists for the next five weeks, reflecting on the gift of the Eucharist, Let's pause and take note of these spiritual roots in God's care throughout salvation history and his desire to provide all of our needs so that we don't end up wandering aimlessly in the desert of sin, but instead grow to appreciate more and more God's gifts, God's abundant gifts in our lives. My brothers and sisters, knowing the compassion the Lord has for all people in their spiritual and physical needs, let us pray in our offering of our sacrifice of praise. For our leaders in the church who mediate between God and his sometimes discontent people, that in answer to their prayers, God may be generous in his response to our needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that national leaders, leaders will make prudent the effective decisions in their efforts to uphold human dignity and take care of the most vulnerable in the world today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us sharing in this Eucharist, where the glory of the Lord appears not in a cloud, but under the appearance of bread and wine, that we too may be ready to serve others with humility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked us to pray for them, for the gift of good discernment in those pursuing vocations, 
for a generous response from all souls to God's initiative of sowing his words in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our departed dear ones, that through our prayers, their purification may be complete, and they may eat the bread of angels at the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most loving Father, hear our prayers and receive our thanksgiving, for you are our shepherd, guiding us in safe ways, protecting us from evil, and nourishing us with your own body and blood, leading us to eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightened the friar, St. Lawrence, for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Up Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Lawrence of Brindisi you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so the, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Martha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. On behalf of those joining us by video, we say the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
Amen. Let us pray. Refreshed by heavenly food, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that attentive to the teaching of St. Lawrence of Brindisi, we may abide at all times in thanksgiving for the gifts we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. There it is again, the gifts we have received. Uh, we don't get into a whole lot of classified announcements and making connections, but there is an older Christian couple, Catholic couple, who is looking for an affordable apartment. So if you have any uh, awareness of any affordable apartments that are coming open or are looking for uh, a resident, please speak with me after Mass or talk with uh, Linda in the parish office. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.